Oh boy, welcome back everybody to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Listen, I cannot believe what happened in the last one. And also I'm nervous because like, I don't feel like I have the energy to do this, but I need to know what's going on. I have to know, man, we dropped the big one in the last one. We really did. I thought we were actually getting somewhere huge and then nope, 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 no, we've, we've definitely put the biggest target on both of our backs as humanly possible. But you mean, honestly, there was no other choice. We had to do it. Now Maya is going to have to do something that's probably putting her in like so much danger. But again, it doesn't matter because we were going to die anyway. <laughs> what a lovely thought. All right. So here we are. We're taking a break. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if my lungs are up for this. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm very sorry. Um, it's right before Coliseum and it, y'all, I'm so sick. I'm so sorry. This sucks so bad. Sorry, Maya, but this was the only way. You sure you're up for this? Thanks for believing in me, Nick. Even though I don't know if my channeling ability is on point yet. Wait, really? We've been training for so long. I mean, I know before, like in the early stages of Maya's abilities, they were kind of like hit or miss, but now? I thought you were just on your way to becoming a master. Are you just nervous? Oh, right. Before she started training here, her success rate was only about 30%. Yeah, but hasn't your training helped you? I know you can do it, Maya. At least, I hope she can. So... You sure you're ready? Here's what I'm not sure about. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready for it. Every time she seems to channel someone, she seems to take on not only their personality and speech patterns, but also uh, a lot of their appearance. How is that gonna play out? I mean, that was a question I had the minute it was brought up. Yeah, at least I think so. You don't sound so confident. What about all your training? Yeah, exactly. Training's one thing, actually doing it is another. <laughs> Oh, I see. Uh-oh. Wait, so her training doesn't actually involve the actual act of spirit channeling? Isn't that something that kind of needs to be done? Oh. If she fails to channel the high priest, we're as good as dead. Well, I'm sh <sighs> Don't even bother saying it. I'm sure she knows that. Relax, Nick. You can count on me. I'll show you what my training's done for me. This will be a moment you never forget. I bet. I'm a, how is he gonna come through? Like, it, like literally, is he just gonna be him in Maya's outfit? Cause like, oh my god, we all know what how ha it happened the last time. You know, with the brick boobies and everything. We're not gonna get that this time, though. Okay, I hope it's unforgettable in a good way. Oh, you know what? You shouldn't have even said it. Cause it probably isn't. Once we hear Abbott and me's story, I'm sure the truth will come to light. I hope so. He was hiding the fact that he was a rebel, so... I doubt it'll be as cut and dry as all that. Probably not. They would... <sighs> Nothing's gonna be easy for us here. They're ready for you. Please return to the Hall of Justice at once. Okay. Oh, God. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. I will make this episode as long as possible, but if I'm struggling, guys, I'm gonna just have to do the best I can. Okay, Maya. I'm counting on you. I gave you guys that hour-long episode because I really didn't want to end it where it was. But man, that I struggled with that. Like, that took a lot out of me. You got it. Here we go. A ton. So let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. How is this even going to work? Do we get to, like, see a little thing? Like, do we get to see, like, a little dance, a little chant? I don't know, you, it, before it's usually just happened. So I don't know how it's gonna happen now. Oh man. We have received official approval for the accused to channel a spirit here today. Now, if you will, Miss Faye, please proceed. Man, I'm excited to see this though. All right, how are we gonna do it? Yes, your majesty. I can't believe this. Only the queen should channel spirit. Execute them! Put them to the death right now! Death, 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 death. Wow, dudes! Don't worry, that's how I feel too. Oh, <laughs> feeling absolute death. Come on, Maya, I'm counting on you. She can do it, I believe, I believe. Come on, girl, you got this, right? I have been studying here in Kurain for two years now. So that one day, I will be the master of Kurain, a village of spirit mediums back home. But first, I shall show you all the fruits of my training in your kingdom. 
Wow, she seems really confident, but I hope so, because I'm not. Huh, a neophyte practitioner such as you could not possibly channel a spirit. Uh-oh, th this is either gonna go real bad for us or real bad for Rafa. I can't tell which yet. Okay, your benevolence, how about this? If I succeed, will you stop calling me a neophyte? Yeah, it's kind of rude, really. It's not nice. Very well, if you succeed. Uh-oh, I think she's gonna, I, I hope she's gonna be eating her words. Oh, I will, just you watch. Do it, Maya, come on, I believe. Oh yeah, here we go, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, spirit of trust in me, slumbering in the way- Oh, it was too fast! Return now, return to the world of the living! What did that say before? Why is it so quick? Okay. My voice could not keep up. Here we go. Come on. Did it work? <gasps> what the- what the hell is that? Whoa! <coughs> okay. But looking good, man. Looking fantastic. I have a question. <laughs> Is it like the Hulk kind of shit where like you, your clothes either rip or they don't rip? Okay, I guess it does. We should have asked that beforehand. I mean, I think I had the same question when she uh, when she channeled Mia and you know had the big. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, how did the dress not rip? But really, in this case, he's got to be light years bigger than she is. It looks great! <laughs> it looks great, you guys! Mm, what is this place? Oh my! Maya, you're looking fantastic! No! This cannot be! <sighs> but yeah, potatoes! I know, dude! Listen! <laughs> Everyone is shocked! <laughs> oh, jeez! No one had any faith in her, hey? Well, that just goes to show. Bet you feel stupid now, boy. Wow, what a silhouette. That looks fantastic. <laughs> I don't believe it. The accused spiritual power is the real deal. Maybe now you guys will give her some respect. Jesus. Go, Maya. Yeah, really, we don't even have to say anything. It speaks for itself, really. I do not understand. This cannot be. This simply cannot be. Well, it is, so open your eyes and look. You ain't the only people that can do shit. I, I, I must step out now before I forget myself. Oh no, it got too big for her. She has to leave again. Listen, girl, I get it, but like, come on. How about in me? Would this be the Twilight Realm? We never really gave him a... Oh, girl, I, I agree. <laughs> girl, he loves it. Listen, it looks good on you. I've got to be honest. Maybe, I don't know, like, maybe in the afterlife you should just, you know, try to grow some hair. It'd be look, look pretty good, I think. I know that's not a monk thing to do. Well, who cares? You're done with it. Do what you want. It's your afterlife. He looks great. <laughs> oh, man, that hair flip is too much. I love it. I love the attitude. We didn't give him a voice, though, really, did we? We only gave him the voice of his wife mimicking him through the painting. So I'm, I'm just going to roll with it. Sorry. And what of this luxurious main of air? Is it perhaps a gift from the Holy Mother? For decades of faithful service? Sure. We'll go with that. I think it looks great on you, to be honest. Albert and me? Maybe he's like a- maybe he's an easygoing guy. We don't know really much about him at all. My. But if it isn't his majesty, have you, too, shuffled off that mortal coil? Uh, no. Not yet. Tomorrow, maybe, but not today. Please, do not count me among the dead. It is only you who has passed on. But the spirit medium Maya Faye has brought you back among us today. Wh why? Acolyte Faye has mastered the secret art of spirit channeling? Oh, I suppose that explains these gorgeous locks. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a sass. He might have one, we don't know. When I pass from this world, I too hope to have be channeled with a full head of hair. He will be if Maya does it. I'm just saying. Maybe you should, like, get your spot now. For later. Yo, he loves it. Look at that. It's honestly... <laughs> I recently cut my hair, like, a couple weeks ago, which is shorter than I've ever had it before, which is not short for anybody else but me. But I can't do the hair flip very well now, and I'm like, oh, my God, I feel like it's missing. The long hair flip is pretty good. Though it be for the briefest of moments, I give thanks for the splendid coiffure. 
Praise be to the Holy Mother. I, I'm telling you, it looks great. However, this kimono is a bit too snug for my tastes. If you would excuse me. Wait, what's that? Whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, whoa, dude. All right, okay. Cool. I agreed that it was probably a little too much. There. That is better. Yeah, you gotta air your boobies out. Listen, I understand, dude. I'm a middle-aged woman. I get it. Uh, could we get to his testimony now? And I wish he'd kept his top on. What's the damn difference? <laughs> Can't really see it, but it looks exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Why, you are that foreign lawyer the people speak of as of late. And is this not the Hall of Justice? Why have I been summoned here? Forgive us for calling you back from your eternal rest. But you have been accused of murder. Might we ask you to testify on your own behalf? Whoa, whoa, what, sir? Okay, listen, I, I get it. Airing out the body parts is an important thing maybe sometimes to do, but you are in public. Dang, how do you do that though? Also the shoe, <laughs> it's like way too small. Oh my goodness, feet for free on my LPs? You damn right, I offer it all. Listen, this is the this is the kind of content you can come to expect. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more of this. Holy crap. I have been accused of murder. That is troubling indeed. Kay Dalsum, can we... Can you put your crotch away, please? Put it away. This is a court of law. What's with that crazy pose? Phoenix, you wanna try it? Is this really cause for such astonishment? Even the lowliest of monks can achieve such body control with the proper training. Whoa, 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 wait, I have a question. Did it, uh, Nayuta did a little bit of monk training, right? Yo, Naya baby, can you, can you do that? We got, I'm asking the important questions. Listen, for science, I need to know. Asking for a friend? Oh, I wonder if Albie will be able to do that someday. Wait, why was that the thing you thought of? No, no, we're not, no. No, I refuse. No, we're not thinking about that. Do not think about that. Will the defense please explain the situation to the high priest? I'd be happy to. Yeah, anything to not think about Albie, okay? Can we not? Your disciple, Parasalot, has been murdered. It happened on the day before the purification rite. And the crime occurred in the rebel hideout hidden within the inner sanctum. Acolyte Silot, he has been killed? Who would do such a thing? Well, we're kind of thinking you did, brother. <laughs> Someone who knew of the hideout and had access to the inner sanctum. In other words, you, Abbot and me. After all, weren't you secretly a rebel? And we're just putting it out there from- Whoa! Man, alright. Yeah, okay, I agree. Jesus Christ, your back must be like a noodle. I wish mine was, dude. How do I- How do I achieve such things? Oh, dear. It's still Maya's body. Hope he doesn't break anything. And he seems to be able to do it, so, I mean, hopefully Maya's okay in there. Jesus, girl, listen, sometimes you gotta air the coochie out. It's Maybe she'll just learn how to do it after this. It's fine. There's nothing to say. Good lord, look at that from behind. It does not look great. I think he'd master such an advanced prayer pose. He's still worthy of our veneration, even if he is a rebel. Please be the holy mother, but... Wait, they don't care now that he's a rebel? Just because he can put his foot behind his leg? Listen, like, his foot behind his neck, sorry. Listen, a lot of people can do that. A ton of porn stars can probably do that. See anyone revering them? Oh my. Have my rebel allegiances been exposed? Listen, that's not the only thing you're exposing in here. I'm pretty sure. Not even my wife knew of that. It seems to rest in peace is not my fate. Well, that's what happens. Why did you, a devout priest of Kuranism, join the rebellion? Objection. What do you mean? We gotta ask that. The High Priest has come back to us for but a brief time, Defense. Shall we not cut to the chase and ask the most pressing of questions? Like what? I just asked him. Oh, right. You mean like the testimony itself? Like he's probably gonna say, but jack shit. Like, let's be honest. We know that that's gonna be the case. Abbott and me, the prosecution believes, the one who slew both you and Acolyte Zalot to be Maya Fey, who had been playing the role of Lady Kira in the right. Hmm, being that I was dead until just a moment ago, my memory is a bit hazy. Could you please do your best to remember? Objection! Listen, you just... 
How about having him tell what he does remember instead of naming her? The high priest says his memory is hazy. Mm. It's all coming back to me. Yeah, sure. It is as Prosecutor Sadmati concluded. I was slain by none other than Maya Fe. What? The high priest's statement has proven my assertions with regards to his murder correct. Wait, no, that can't be. Wait a minute, it's just like that? But what about Acolyte Zillad? You were the one who killed him, weren't you? Um, I know not about my disciple's murder. It's possible for him to lie. I'm assuming it is, because when you bring them back, it's just like they were living, right? So he could just lie about it. Surely. But we have to cross-examine him probably to find out. Furthermore, I have an alibi of my own. Do you? I can't wait to hear that. An alibi? Seriously? <laughs> it seems the testimony the defense had been hoping for is working against him. Now, Abbot and me, your testimony if you please. Why is he like this? I thought he would actually tell the truth. Hmm, unless he is telling the truth? But he can't be with the Maya thing. Yes, yes, of course. All right, let's see. What is this gonna be about? All right, okay. Uh, I have an alibi, good for you. I have an ironclad alibi for the time during which the murder took place. Just past noon, on the day before the riot, I was entertaining guests at my home. Well, that much is true. I think anyway. Okay, no, you don't have to do that. You can put that away. And I believe my guests can corroborate this. The only guests you had, one of them is dead, and the other one's in you. <laughs> How are we gonna ask them that? What? You had guests? Just past noon. That's right about the time Zillot was murdered. Oh, wait, I might be thinking of the wrong thing. I'm thinking of the thing they had the night before, like the, the dinner that they had. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. Come to think of it, Rafa told me about a spirit's memory. What did she say about that? I don't remember. A spirit's memory is cut off at the moment of death. So even a spirit that's brought back after centuries doesn't sense any gap in time. Oh, right, right, okay. Between the moment of its death and the moment it's channeled? Yes, and yet it clearly recalls all of the memories it had in life. Right, 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 okay. The high priest seems to know exactly what he's talking about. Hmm, what could that mean? So the question is, what would be the best angle of attack? I don't know. Anything that's not angled toward his groin, I'm assuming. All right, let's 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 see what we got. Listen, I got nothing so far. All I'm gonna do is press everything. I have an alibi. All right. <clears throat> I have an ironclad alibi for the time during which the murder took place. Holy. Let's hear more. Tell me about it. You use the word alibi as if it were second nature. Oh. Are you perhaps mocking me? No, I just wish you'd really put your leg down. Or is it perhaps the kingdom of Kurain itself that you wish to ridicule? Oh no, now he's gonna get everybody on me, of course. We're not a bunch of country bumpkins here. We have plenty of courtroom dramas on TV. Hey, shut up. Peace, 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 I say. Mr. Wright, would you care to clarify your last statement? Please, don't take it the wrong way. It's just alibi is a rather technical term for a priest to use so naturally. Well, everyone does know what it means. I, I, I'll agree there. I assure you I know how to use the term. In fact, I had even hoped for a chance to do so one day. I suppose that even I, a high priest, am not immune to such trivial, worldly attachments. Wait, what does that mean? Oh. Oh, I see. Huh. Still, he seems unusually calm and composed. It could just be his mannerisms, though. It's almost as if he prepped himself for something like this. I mean, that could be true. If he did set up both mur the murders and himself, he probably had a plan in place. I'm assuming that's absolutely true. Just past noon on the day before the riot, I was entertaining guests. All right, tell me more about this, because I think I had it messed up. Guests? And you were entertaining them personally? Uh, oh, you could answer me. That would be great. That I was. We gathered around the table for a most enjoyable conversation. 
He said his guests could corroborate his alibi. Yeah, who are they? That can't be good for our case. Are you sure that that was the same day as the murder? Maybe you've misremembered. <gasps> Whoa! <coughs> oh my god, I don't like that! <coughs> Do not doubt my mnemonic faculties. Men, 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 mnemonic. I think it's mnemonic? Something like that. I may have died, but my memory is up to that point. A crystal clear. Don't do that with my Ismagatama. Listen, that's not yours. Sorry, it's pretty thin skin for a priest. Yeah, that, that kind of hit him, huh? Though I guess I should have known better than to doubt his memory. Why do you get so mad about it, though? The spirit's memory is cut off at the moment of death. So even the spirit that's brought back after centuries doesn't sense any gap in time. So to him, it just happened probably the day before. Okay, so maybe that's why he's like, yeah, I remember. All right. All right, let's see what he has to say about the rest of it then. Oh, there's nothing better than enjoying gingly cuisine. Gingil with dear friends. Wait, so it was that. That way everyone's breath becomes equally malodorous. I guess then it doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Well, we know that that happened. We have a photo of it. And I believe my guests can corroborate. Who are they? Is he gonna tell us? And who exactly were your guests that day? Don't tell me they were rebels so they can't be called here to testify. It was none other than his majesty along with his family. Wait, what? I didn't know about that. He couldn't attend the right due to work, so he stopped by ahead of time. Hmm. My, my. How his daughter has grown. Wait, wait a second. Let me set the record straight right now. I am not a rebel. Wait, but you never said anything about going to his house. Thank you for that wonderful meal, Abbott and me. Lady Emmy's cooking simply cannot be beat. Wait, so he was there? Wait, why are we just hearing about this now? So there you have it. Really? When exactly was his majesty at your home? He was there from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Huh? Hmm. 2 p.m. to 3? What was the what was the time frame on the uh on the thing? Uh Statement about the feast of blessings that was held day the right. Family photo was taken during the feast. This dish is only prepared during the feast, which starts at noon on the day before the rite and must be finished by three. So that does match if he was there for an hour. Okay. Hmm. Indeed, precisely the time period when which Acolyte Zillot was slain. Huh. Yes, and we had a rousing chat concerning the game of catch them all. What? Catch them all? Like Pokemon? You guys like Pokemon? Oh shoot. Let's talk about that. I'll just have that added to the testimony. Yeah, y you think? After all, it was I who visited the high priest home. Why am I just hearing about this now? Oh, Christ. I guess that day where his majesty and family, they visited from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, but I, I still don't have anything here. Your majesty, are you sure this testimony is completely accurate? As sure as sure can be. Oh, how wonderful it is to finally have my actions be admissible as evidence in court. Yeah, you were waiting for that, huh? His Majesty was at my home during the exact time period of the murder. Huh? Wait, uh, what? Come, let us put us behind us. I could not have possibly committed this crime. Hang on a minute. I never used this function, but I need to now. What did he just say? How wonderful it is to finally have my actions be admissible as evidence of court. His majesty was at my home during the exact time period of the murder. Wait a minute, I have a stupid question. If... I have a dumb question and maybe I'm misremembering. Hang on a minute. Couldn't have possibly committed this crime one frickin' second, please. Time of the murder. Do we have. Thank you. Eighth. 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. 
This is stupid and it probably is nothing, but how does he know what time the murder occurred? We... Did we say anywhere at the time of the murder? Or did we just say that he was murdered? Here's the thing, when, when did we even talk about that? And am I being stupid? I never use this function, so you know I'm being serious because I can't think of anything else. Memories cut off at the moment of death. See, they said that twice with Rafa. They had her say that to me twice. Uh, how far up can I go? Oh, not too far, though. That's the thing. I guess when we started this, this line of questioning. How does he know when he was murdered? Did we say? I, this is probably nothing. How can you be so sure? What if the clock or watch you were using was off or you misread the time? Well, I don't think they all would have done that in his home. There was a clock right near the table, and I had the exact same time as my watch. Yeah, especially on a thing where you have to, like, finish it up by a certain time. I believe that part of it. Something's wrong here. Now, do you understand, lawyer? Wait, what do we do, though? Wasn't that all of the questioning? Uh-oh. Did I miss something? As you can see, my alibi is airtight. Or do you still think I could have killed Acolyte Zealot? Ugh. His Majesty's a witness? That is bad. Are you satisfied now? No. I need you to do the same position he's done. <laughs> For reasons. There's not a single discrepancy in Abbott and me's alibi. If I give up now, it's all over. What are we gonna do? I, did I miss something? Now hold on a second. Phoenix, do you have anything? Is there something, anything wrong with the high priest's testimony? I don't know. The only thing I'm thinking of is how did he know? He said I couldn't have done it when the murder happened. Did we talk about it? I can't remember now. Shoot. Can I just say there is and if it's wrong, I can go back, right? Because usually there's only a very few times when you say there isn't. There has been. That has happened, though. It has happened before. Okay, there is. Let's just try it and see if Phoenix has anything. There is a discrepancy in the high priest's testimony. Um, please give me the multiple choice for it, though, because I don't know what it is. There is? Well, perhaps you could explain what it might be. This is what was wrong with his testimony. Thank you. The prayer feast was short. Okay. He's too friendly with the... <sighs> it's right there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now I know that I'm... Not... Okay. He knew the time of the crime. That seals it for me that they didn't say what it was. They said he was murdered. But I don't think we've actually said when. And he just said I couldn't have done it when he was murdered. How do you know when he was murdered, bitch? Don't be lying to me. You're a priest. Well, you were. I guess he's a rebel now, so I guess he is gonna lie. But, well... After Abbott and me was channeled, no one ever stated what time Acolyte Zealot was murdered. Man, that's tricky though if you didn't remember like I didn't and you couldn't scroll up to see. Shoot. Now that you mention it. Despite that, you claim to have an alibi from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. That means that you knew that Acolyte Zealot was dead. When you were still alive. Oh, shoot. Oh no, you boobies. Whoa, he just had an out of body experience almost. Holy crap. Wait. I think I saw something just now. Yeah, we saw a lot. No, I must be imagining things. What does that mean though, what we just saw? Was he almost like thrown out of the body? So tell me, how did you know what time the crime had been committed? What did that mean? Well, oh God, I don't like that. Ew, no, don't sweat in Maya's body. That's disgusting. Uh, about that. <laughs> no, don't take a poopy in here, please. What? We've been so blessed with the high priest's sacred words of prayer. He was just shouting. That's literally all he did. What? All who serve her holiness must strive to banish worldly desires from their soul. Open your heart! Let the Holy Mother in! Put your mind of greed and bias! Don't spit on me, sir. I feel as if my very soul has been cleansed. By what? The saliva? It's fucking gross. You can't fool me. What it, What was that thing that we saw? I'm trying to think now about what that meant. It's distracting me. The fact that there was like a ghost coming out of his channeled body. But he didn't turn back to Maya when that happened, did he? Prayer may banish worldly desires, but it can't make a contradiction disappear. What? What's wrong? Listen, I'm on a roll here. You need to stop interrupting me. I mean, you're gorgeous and everything, but just sit there and look gorgeous. That's what I need you to do. How can you be so sure? What do you mean? 
What's that supposed to mean? This lawyer seems to think little of the power of Quranist prayer. Well, I don't know about it, dude. What would you say about the power of my prayer? Nothing. You don't know shit about it. Huh? Alright, while you're there, can you order me some nuggets, please? Ten nuggets and some fries, please. Thank you. I appreciate you. Abbott and me was at home during the crime, but knew of what happened at the hideout. I believe this can be explained thusly. Oh, explain it. I can't wait to hear this. He must have had a way to monitor the hideout from his home. Come on, like what? What? I don't believe that for a second. Look, and you don't either. You never cease to amaze, prosecutor. As he has surmised, there was a listening device installed at the hideout. Where's that? Show me that. Let the police look at it. It enabled me to instantly learn of anything unusual even when I was not there. So you knew about a death and didn't do anything? That doesn't sound right. Remember, the rebels had begun using this as a top secret hideout. It would be perfectly natural for them to install such an apparatus. Wait, come to think of it, when I was searching the rebel hideout... Wait, did we see something like that? Huh? There's something under the banner. <gasps> That's right, we did! Oh, shoot! A microphone? That's right, we thought it was bu- Oh, I forgot! Damn it! Was someone trying to record something with it? I absolutely forgot about that. Shoot. That was a listening device? It starts recording whenever it detects movement. And I heard just such a recording after his majesty and his family left. Uh -huh. If you look in the desk in my study, you will find the tape in question. Oh, this is bad. All right then, bailiff. Go get it, go get it. Don't shoot anybody on your way out. Go retrieve the tape in question from the high priest's home. Oh, this is not going to be good, is it? What it... <clears throat> I'm still thinking about what that meant. When we saw the spirit leave his body, but it didn't look like his body... Did, did that mean anything, or was that just Phoenix saying that because it looked weird? I don't like that either. That's making me nervous. The power of Karenna's prayer. Yeah, it's something, huh? You, you, you've got something going... Man, you've got me at every turn, you really do. Even a putrid brain such as yours should understand it now. It's like the contradiction really did vanish. Well, yeah, that was all we had. We shall ascertain the content of the recording once we have the tape. In the meantime, I would ask Abbott and me to continue with this testimony. Oh, Lord, okay, uh... But you have more? Oh, this is- maybe this is the testimony about the- being monitored? Alright, you know what, let's do that in the next episode, if that's okay. Because if he's gonna do another line of testimony, I want to make sure that we go through everything. I'm so sorry these are a little bit short. Uh, just bear with me. Thank you so, so much for joining me here. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Please give a like if you do, it really helps me. Um, and I really love your comments too, guys. Thank you so, so much. You're always so helpful and insightful too. I enjoy reading them all. I'll see you soon in the next episode, everyone. Take care. Toodaloo.